let's get right into it. This is the beta branch. I don't know if I can narrate the entire patch notes, but as always, the main point of these videos is to even let you know the updates out, give you the link to the patch notes. So let's just get right into it and see how far I can get in here. So, greetings. Below you'll find the latest updates to the beta branch. We also want to take this opportunity to address a frequently asked question regarding safe game compatibility on this branch. While we strive to achieve stability for the beta, we cannot guarantee it and want to stress that you are using this branch with a risk for both general enjoyment as well as safe game compatibility. If you desire a more stable experience, please use our main branch. Similarly, if you're using mods, please be aware that updates carry a significant risk to break them and your safe games, regardless of the branch you're on. Finally, we want to thank everybody who's partaking in testing the beta branches and helping us with creating a better game. So 1.4.0, single player crash is fixed to save and load crash related to one handed perks or due to an empty DLL name appearing on call stack frame or due to missing frame info when capturing a call stack or that occurred sometimes when trying to load a game when quests were active or that occurred when selecting some troops for a custom battle. Save and load. Players now gain trade XP correctly after save and load. Localization. Fixed some item. Name translation error. Punctuation fixes for some text. Additional chi Chinese translations and translations fixes. Blah, blah, blah. Turkish. Localization updates. Art. Fixed some AIs. Navigation. Al's navigation mesh and season issues with... Batanian villages fixed some visual issues, levels, mesh problems, AI's navigation mesh problems, and season issues with Sturgeon villages. UI implemented the new map event visual system. Now map events, raids, sieges, and battles will be shown on the UI compared to 3D icons on the map. This will improve the visibility of map events. Improvements to crafting screen with high yield item tuples, tuples, whatever. Fixed an, es an issue. Fixed an error that showed different relation values in conversations compared to the set Heroes Encyclopedia page. Fixed a text error in Kingdom Decision pop-up. Fixed a text error in Party Tooltip Battle and Sieges. Fixed mission camera still being updated when the player opens up the escape menu during hideout boss fight cinematic transitions. Character development system changed the implementation of 15 one-handed skill perks that are related with combat. Companions will now gain trade XP if they are leading a caravan. Clan and Party. Added a new map notification for when the player receives a new settlement. Armies. When tracking an army, the tracking information will now be for the whole army rather than just the leader's party. Kingdoms and Diplomacy. Influence gain reduced to 1 20th for donating pr prisoners to a dungeon. Council of Commons policy effect changed so that it now grants 0 0.5 influence per each supporter of the clan who lives in the clan's kingdom. Settlement. Actions, town villages, castles, and hideout. Change the effects of some settlement projects. Sorry, I had to turn that off. I gotta keep moving around. Projects now take longer to finish. Reserve now adds a fixed bonus to construction rather than doubling it. Town management window will now show changes to stats correctly according to the selected project. And reserve. Fix the bug that allowed players to join... A neutral army from settlement UI. General implemented the new quest army needs supplies. Fixed a bug that causes log entries to show wrong information about alternative companion solution troop counts. Fixed a bug that causes alternative companion solution troops and companions to disappear. Fixed a bug that caused quests to disappear. Players will not be able to transfer wounded troops to fulfill quest conditions. Instead of closing the dialogue quest, Dialogue options will return to the character's main dialogue options. Character's main dialogue options. Um, gang leader needs weapons quest. Fix the crash that occurred when the player completes the quest successfully. Fix the bug that blocks players from solving the quest with the alternative companion solution. Fix the bug that resets the player's quest progress after save and load. Change slash added some quest dialogues. Army of Poachers quest. Fix the bug that caused double gold and leather rewards. Hey, I like that. Alternative companion solution troop requirements were changed. Alternative companion solution duration was changed. Quest reward formula was changed. The party size formula for the poacher's party was changed. Change slash added some quest dialogues. Alternative companion solution will require at least tier 2 troops. Players will gain one renown after completing the quest 
Through successful persuasion, equipped item sets for the poacher character were changed. Lord needs garrison troops quest. Required troop count formula was changed. Required troops were changed. Change slash added some quest dialogues. Lord wants rival captured quest. Change slash added some quest dialogues. Company of trouble quests. Players will not be able to activate the quest if they do not have enough space in their party for the quest troops. Company of Trouble Troops were changed. Players will not be able to persuade non-combatant nobles, the Questgiver's clan members, and people who are in the Questgiver settlement to take the troops. Persuasion Gold Demand formula was changed. The formula for the number of items that are stolen per day was changed. <laughs> it's going to be higher now, and it's because of me. I'm the one that's taking everything. I need to eat. Nearby bandit base quest. Added some tool tips to explain needed skill values for the alternative companion solution. Lord Lady needs tutor quest. Yeah, I bet. Fixed a bug that caused the quest to get stuck after a certain level of experience gain. Fixed a bug that caused missing dialogue options when talking with the pupil for the f second time. Pupil lords will have lower skill points to begin with. The target skill point gain was decreased from 60 to 30. Some quest giver conditions were updated. Family feud quest. Fixed a bug that caused quest NPCs to stay in the player clan after quest completion. Fixed a bug that caused duplicate wrong quest logs. Change added some quest logs. The quest will be cancelled, not failed, if the target village is raided. The quest will be cancelled if the quest giver's village is raided while the player has not spoken to the culprit yet. Train Troops Quest. Players will not be able to activate the quest if they do not have enough space in their party for the quest troops. Landlord needs to access the village common quest. The required troop count for the alternative companion solution was changed. The duration for the alternative companion solution was changed. The alternative companion solution will require at least tier 2 troops. Artisans can't sell product quests. That's because I took their shit. Fix the text variable bug. Conversations and encounters. Not being able to attack after talking to lords slash ladies about the main story was fixed. Increased variation in NPC greetings and farewells. Added some minor variation in wanderer hiring dialogues. Other. Fixed bug in which Noretzi's Noretzi's sons is assassinated before the game starts. Well, he should be assassinated just for having that stupid name. Um, yes, I'm just kidding. Multiplayer, map related. I don't know what that is right there. MP, whatever. Both, performance. Memory fragmentation improvements, better multi-core usage and for animation sampling system, multi-threading, optimization on cloth simulation. Art, visuals of bushes are improved. I personally shave mine. Anyway, set all shield rotations according to the new defend animations. Animations. Mounted, two-handed, overswing attacks were cutting through the mount. <clears throat> now the animation ends sooner. It was chopping up their horses. That's hilarious. Combat AI. AI troops can fill up from dropped quivers now. Other. Printing area of effect damage to the combat log problem fixed. Fixed an issue with crush through. And speaking of crush through, if you like the video, that's right, I'm still here. Give it a thumbs up. You didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down, and I'll give you a crush through. Through the screen, I'll just reach for you, and it'll be like the force choke. And don't ask. I'm silly. If you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that would be great. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as. And as always, take care, stay distanced, or get backhanded. And I'll see you all, maybe some of you or none of you, in the next video. Bye now.